The twist wall is a special kind of secondary attached wall in sheet metal mode. And in Creo Parametric 4.0, it got a nice overhaul to the interface. And in all honesty, in the real world, I've never had an application for the twist wall. If you have used the twist wall in actual production, uh, please let me know in the comments section because I'd love to know about your applications for this feature. To create a twist wall, go to the Shapes tab on the dashboard, or excuse me, the Shapes drop-down list, and then choose Twist, and pick the edge that you want it attached to. And by default, it's given me a length of 16 and a twist angle of 45 degrees. You can double-click on the dimension to change the value, or you could use the drag handles to change the length of the feature. Also, we have a drag handle that allows us to change the angle. And so here it's going through 180 degrees. I could keep on twisting. And you can also manually enter in a value like 540. And you can change those different dimensions on the dashboard as well. All right, for some of the other different options that we have available to us, uh, from this button on the dashboard, we're allowed to make this a partial wall, and I can go and drag it in. And this is giving me a dimension that is centered on the edge, and I'm controlling the width. Instead of controlling the width when I am doing that, we could use offset dimensions for attaching this. And we have the drop down list where we can say, hey, give us a couple of dimensions so that I could say that I want this offset from this side a value of one maybe offset from this side let's make it a little bigger like 1.50 but again this button will allow you to center it on the edge and control the width of the wall itself all right uh, some of the other different options that you have available to you is that you could center this on a point on the edge of the wall. And that used to be required in Creo Parametric 3.0 and earlier, but it's no longer required. If you do want to use this, you could create a datum point while you're in the middle of the feature. Over on the right-hand side of the dashboard, we have the datum drop-down menu where I could choose to create a point. You'll notice that the dashboard grays out. It's paused while I'm working on this. And I can select the edge where I want the point located. By default, it's using a method called length ratio, where it's going to normalize the length of the edge from zero at one end to one at the other end, and you enter in a value. So for example, if you enter in a value of 0.5, it'll be halfway along the length of the edge. If you enter in 0.25, it'll be a quarter of the length uh, of across the edge. If you click the next end button, it'll start zero from the other side, and that's why it went from 0.35 to 0.65. And you can also double click on the point, specify the value that you want, for example, 0.4. And when I'm happy, I can click the OK button. And then hit the play button to resume the dashboard. And I can right mouse click and hold. And from the pop up menu, I can check the box to select the twist axis location. You'll notice that this gave me another collector on the dashboard. And on the placement tab, I have another collector for specifying the twist axis location. And I will select the point. And now the wall is centered at that point's location. So there are a couple other different things that you have available on here. If you go to bend allowance, here's still using that default value of 16 to specify the length of this wall in an unbent state, which is probably unrealistic if the length of this feature is 20. And if I wanted to say, you know, oh, in real life, it would actually be 21 before being bent, you could enter in that value. And here we have the properties tab. And from here, you could change the name of the feature. When you're happy with how you've configured your twist wall, you can hit the check mark or middle mouse button, and the twist wall feature is created in your model. Before I sign off on this video, there is one other option that I forgot to mention. 
if you hold down the right mouse button, you can modify the end side width. And that is the same as clicking this button here on the dashboard. And so we have a length of five at the start and a length of eight at the end. You've got the drag handle if you want to change this to some other value. And again, we can plug in our twist, enter in the value that we want for the angle and the side end length. And there you have it. I hope you liked this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.